Close morning, friends, folks. It's December 23rd, 2023. A couple of 23s in there for you. And uh, it's been two years since ending Cross the Stars. It was 6 o'clock in the morning two years ago, 2021. Bonnie, uh, she left. She crossed the stars two years ago. And, uh, man, it's it's crazy. Let's dive into today's lesson, see how much it correlates with man, Mahea, Mahea, how would it not, Magpie Feather Woman, going home to Mahale, Annie Bearshield Hunter, going home to God the Father. This is God's timing. We have Galatians 4 and 4. When the time had fully come, God sent his son. We have a quote from Malcolm Begaw. We have a quote from Malcolm Muggeridge. The coming of Jesus into the world is the most stupendous event in human history. Yeah. Inward, the origin. <clears throat> Good plans require patience. It cannot be done hastily. When it comes to our salvation and God's will for our lives, we would like to push the eternal to act a little more quickly. We may, we may wonder why he waited millennia before the Messiah came. We may also wonder why he waits years before saving us from a difficult situation or even saving our souls from eternal death. The answer in every case of God's timing is the same preparation. We don't know exactly why centuries of dry judgment prevailed before grace reigned freely on all. We don't know why some cultures remain in nearly complete darkness today. We don't know why the chosen people's history required such long periods of obedience, apostasy, and then judgment. But we don't know why God doesn't solve every problem the moment we pray why our Savior waits with veiled grace, sometimes before opening our eyes to it. Perhaps the human race needed to exhaust its resources before God's offer of providence became meaningful. Perhaps the world had to be subjected to utter frustration before it could even accept the Savior. Perhaps so do we. What we do know, however, is that God is thorough. His plans are lengthy but well conceived. His artistry is slow but his colors are rich. His layers of meaning are many and his purposes are completely pure. We can trust his timing. Niawe. Thank you, Lord. Indeed, the conclusion. The patience of the eternal God and the temperament of impulsive human beings often stand in stark contrast. A thousand years are a day to the Lord, but not to us. We're much too impatient for that. We think God's plan for future generations might unnecessarily leave current generations short change. We think a full revelation of his gospel was essential the first day after Eden. We want to rush things because we're, we're flesh. <clears throat> but in his plan, a nation was cultivated, Israel. A law was given. Human nature was exposed. Twelve commandments. Human nature was exposed. Prophets spoke and creation waited. Then the Savior came. We were prepared for salvation. And we now celebrate the fullness of time. Jesus hung upon the cross of Calvary so that you and I could be set free. Right after that, he went to the pit of hell. Took the keys from the devil. And everyone was released there. And he got to go home to the kingdom of heaven. So now, the choice is up to us. It's heaven or hell, on and on. You got to bleed for the dance, uh, just like Dio says. We're going to dance for the devil, or we're going to dance for God the Father in heaven. Well, hey, I wonder now, God's timing, it's as if a sigh two years ago, and it still hurts today. But we have joy here in this Hunter Bearshield household, Cake, Cubby, and I. As we know, we talked about this last night, because my oldest Cake, she goes, Dad, it's almost been two years. I said, I know. And I'm, I told her straight, I said, baby, I said, we know where she went. It was God's timing, and we, we know, we saw, she gave her heart back to the Lord. That summer in 2021, she passed away in December, it was God's timing, man's timing. I said that Annie was supposed to die in January of 2021. She went all the way to December. We're not going to have a sad Christmas. We're going to have a joyful time. We're going to enjoy one another. We'll go ahead and go give gifts. And, uh. Most of my gifts this year are going to be from the girls. Which finances ain't what they usually were. Delaware Tribe didn't help out, but it is what it is. I got a paycheck. I am a working man. But, you know, 
God's timing. Accept it. Learn, you know, I need to be more patient. I just spent like 30 minutes in there putting the deal on my headphones. And I was getting impatient. <laughs> but I was kind of sitting there thinking, Lord, you're showing me something, which is simply to be more patient. Be more patient with your life. Be more patient with the solutions that you seek. This is how he had me beat drugs and alcoholism. I was more of a beer drunk than anything. I loved my P-Tones. I was getting a 30-pack back in the 1980s when they didn't even make them like that. we get a case in the Sixer. we like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> back then, Budweiser was like 10 bucks. Bush was 8 bucks. If we didn't go below that, you didn't get no beasts. But like, well, maybe we drank beasts maybe once. I bet you a case of that much, she was probably $3.67. <laughs> but you know what? The Lord had me overcome that. Ain't no more for me. So, man, know it's all God's timing. Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart's like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases us. Let him guide his living waters from your heart, from your belly, onto the people. So they see, hey, that guy straightened out. That woman straightened out. I want what they got. I want to know how they got it. And it's simple. It's free. God's salvation is free, y'all. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And he guides you by the unquiet spirit. Be blessed in your own journey.